And it's not true that people with ID are stupid. Do not have the same right and cannot do the same thing that you do. We have family members. We have family members who love us. We have friends just like you do. And we can play sports the same way you do. In reality, you and I are not so different. Today, I'm very happy to share my life story and my Special Olympics journey with all of you. My name is Hanako Sawayama. I have been working with Special Olympics Asia Pacific Regional Office as an administration assistant and as a representative since February 2012. I am a bowling coach and volunteer with Special Olympics Singapore. I have been staying in Singapore for I have been staying in Singapore for past 30 years. When I was 30 years old, I had a bad experience. All of my classmates hit me, and a group of nine bullied me. They bullied me every day. They are all girls. I was so shy, so scared, afraid to talk to people. I had no conflict in myself. After a year, I was transferred to an international school called Tobacco Preparatory School. In the same year, my friend's mother asked, invite me to a Special Olympics Singapore swimming and bowling program. In 1995, I won two silver and one bronze at the Special Olympics Singapore National Games. <laughs> and this started the new journey of my life. My involvement with Special Olympics started during my early school days. Any guesses of how many years I have been with Special Olympics? Winter Games in Nagano, Japan. 
I was given an honor to introduce the VIPs. I con conversed in English and Japanese. The opportunity I had in 2005 Winter Games provided me the chance to meet and speak with a Prime Minister of Japan and the Mayor of Nagano Prefecture. It was such an amazing feeling. I gained more confidence in public speaking and conversing with others. I was able to con overcome my fear and feel up uplifted. As a pioneer, a three leaders, leader and global messenger, I felt a great sense of achievement. Now I am a stronger not afraid to talk to people anymore, more confident and very thriving athletes. I always have a smile on my face. I can now laugh and express my idea. I can now alter the voice of courage without any fear of being bullied. I would like to thank Special Olympic Singapore, Asia Pacific Regional Office, and all of those who helped me. It has given me the opportunity to be trained and compete in various Olympic sports and help me break out on my shell. In conclusion, I hope that after listening to me today, you will go home with a different idea of people with ID. We are not so different. We are all we are all human beings. Thank you.